In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. New day and I am back at it. Lindsay's out grocery shopping because I like to eat. And uh, so I'm knocking out some things before I have to go to work tonight. I have put myself up to doing the trim in the bedroom. I didn't want to do it at all. The cuts were really wearing on me. You're supposed to be able to go 45 this way, then switch it around 45 that way. But I had to do some uh, vertical cuts and yeah, so it, it's been a cluster, but it's coming together. So I'm working on trimming this side, getting it all set up. I'm not gonna nail anything down. This still has to be painted and do this part of the bedroom. But I also got an itchy finger to go ahead and, and finish off the bedroom and part of that was making sure our light fixture our light fixtures were nice our air condition there's a, a cap I took off the wall and over here for the fan there was a cover and they were yellowy they've been around for a while so I took all the air condition caps all the vents off the ceiling and I took all the fan uh, fantastic fan vents out of the bathroom as well and I took them outside and I spray painted them white because white is our color it's opening everything up here in the camper the desk showed up last night it's in a box so I can open up the desk I'm not going to I don't think but it's gonna go over here in this corner space we're not certain well we know it's not gonna fill up the whole corner space so there's still some things we need to get to kind of fill this in but I can build the desk and go ahead and mount it to the wall so that it doesn't slide around like everything slides around inside an RV. If you're watching this video, you already know that probably because you've got an RV or you've been in an RV where you're driving and everything shakes around. That was a pretty quick install made it nice and easy just enough parts got extra parts but that's because they gave me extra um, screws for it so it's all bolted together it's nice it's reversible because these shelves I think we're gonna put these shelves over by the door so we can put baskets with shoes in them but I'm not certain which is why I need to wait for Lindsay um, again to confirm all this stuff for me but this is going to push up against the curtains. About like so. Underneath here, I'm gonna have to mount this with an L bracket against the wall. And so if it's not flush against the wall, which it isn't because it's on the window, I'm going to have to come down here. And hopefully if I take the adjustable knobs down there off, and this is flush on the ground, hopefully it'll drop down enough. So I'm going to do that. Oh, 
when I take those knobs out, it's still a little bit above the lip of the window. Um, so I may be putting some of the knobs back in just because we can adjust them and lower them. Um, but for the most part, this looks pretty good. It was reversible, as I mentioned. I flipped it around so that these were facing out, but that may not even be relevant in just a moment. This desk has a bar across here, so good old number seven, good old JD number seven. I can just unscrew this and move it to the back if I need to. Um, but one of the reasons why I wanted to get this done was because I want to put some trim back there now. And I couldn't do that without knowing where the desk was going to be. So the desk is more or less set up for Lindsay to come and check out and help me determine what we're going to do. We do want to add an area where we can have these little shoe boxes by the door that we can put our shoes in and just slide them in and slide them out and keep them out of the way. Make it look nice and pretty, but definitely functional. Um, having those bins is a great, uh, a great way to keep our shoes from just getting everywhere. But this is, uh, this was this little project. I followed the instructions. Gentlemen, take note. Sometimes following the instructions works in your favor. Actually, most times it does, but um, we like to get made fun of because we don't usually follow them. And then I'm going to, before Lindsay gets back today, I'm going to take the sink out of the bathroom and the countertop out of the bathroom and the faucet and I'm going to get ready to put the new one in. Lindsay's been staining the new countertop. It looks fantastic. I don't want to cut that yet. I'm going to have to make one cut, I think. Just one to take off a couple inches off the front end. But I don't want to do that until Lindsay's here to tell me which way the grains need to go and make sure I did it the way that she's thinking. I kind of want to surprise her, but um, surprises that I do for her when it comes to working around the camper don't always work out. So I'm not going to surprise her. I'm just going to have everything ready to go. So she can get here. She can say, yep, let's do it this way. I'll make the cut. We'll install the counter, drill a hole in it, stick the faucet through, stick the sink through, and hopefully make it a pretty quick and easy job. Today I am finishing up painting the pocket door. It is almost done. I think it should only need one more coat, hopefully. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to start working on sanding this. This is going to be our countertop in the bathroom. Um, it is a different type of butcher block than what we're going to do in the kitchen, but it was cheaper and a whole lot easier to buy this because it's almost exactly the the uh, exact dimensions of our bathroom vanity. Um, it's gonna fit on there great. It's really pretty, I like the color. And I just need to lightly sand it. It's a little rough, it's got some scratches. And then I need to wipe it down and then condition it. And then I'm gonna put, not really a stain, but like an oil finish on it just to bring out the wood grain and make it waterproof for the bathroom. I am using 150 grit sandpaper uh, that's very fine and I just want to take a little bit off the top, not much, just get it, finish it nice and smooth. And I'm going to do that in between uh, coats of the oil that I'm going to put on it. I'm going to put on Watco Butcher Block Oil. You just wipe on, wipe off. Uh, it's supposed to be food safe, so even though this is in the bathroom, uh, I'm still going to use, you know, non-toxic uh, wood finish. Mm -hmm. 